hello everyone, welcome out to California. We're doing a photo shoot this morning with Adidas for the Adi Pure range for next year, uh, which was fairly interesting. I don't think I've actually ever done a proper photo shoot before. Why they got me to do it, I've no idea. But being here has actually introduced me to someone who I think you guys are gonna find very interesting. So a question that I get asked so much is about kind of how I started my YouTube channel, kind of why I did it, and the opportunities that it's actually led to, which are amazing. Look, I mean, Friggin California and people take photos of me, me, I mean, come on. And Matt Card is who I met here today. He's got an Instagram page and a website, Golf In Your State, where he basically travels around the US in a kind of pimped up Merc Sprinter van and just goes to play loads of different places. But his story is pretty unique about how he basically left a really good job to pursue this mad dream. So we're gonna head out here at the Grand Golf Club. I'm gonna introduce you to Matt, his story, Maybe it'll give you some inspiration, maybe it'll give you some insight into what it takes to change kind of careers and life in such a dramatic manner. Maybe it'll inspire you, maybe you're just going to enjoy the golf, I don't know. But I'm going to get my clubs, going to meet Matt and get out on this wonderful course. A little bit grey here today, but nice and warm, that's the main thing. Oh, now that. Ah. Speak of the devil. What's up? How we doing, mate? Yourself. I'm good, mate. I've you got, got a, that thing running already. I got a handful of Advil. Advil? Is that what it's called? Advil? Advil? Anvil? Advil. Advil. A D V I L. That's Advil. Right. Very highly recommended in there. Thought you were handing me one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Fertilizer. So. That Matt I is. Turned my, it turned my club head. I have literally never heard that excuse before. Can I, I like that? it. Can I hold that camera for you? Yeah, you want to have a go? Oh wow. Tell you what, you're right. <laughs> just grabs the club, doesn't it? <laughs> just takes just takes hold of it like. <laughs> like can't control the can't control the ball with the fertilizer. So Matt, before we just run away with ourselves, you wanna yeah. kind of introduce yourself a little bit? <laughs> Sure. Before, before we get into we're that, having too in, much fun, dude. We just skipped chat. everything. We skipped to chapter eight when we should be at chapter one. Um, yeah, so my name is Matt Cardis. I'm a photographer uh, based out of Jackson Hole, Wyoming, here in the United States, little ski community. Uh, I'm a full time traveler. Uh, I live out of a Mercedes Sprinter van. I've turned the inside into a traveling golf art installation. So I've asked my Instagram followers to submit any artwork. So the interior is filled with uh, different artwork from my Instagram following. <laughs> and the exterior, so currently I'm on the road as the Golf Wall Project. And what I'm doing is bringing golfers together in different communities across the country to perform, per per uh, to perform community service in different golf oriented initiatives. So basically I'm bringing golfers together to help their communities and do cool things within their community. And everybody that participates in the Golf Wall Project is getting to sign the exterior of the van. Nice. So it's pretty cool, man. Awesome. I wish I had it here so I could show it to you, but you've seen it on Instagram. It's okay. I'll, I'll, live, I'll live through Instagram anyway. I've seen it that much on Instagram, I kind of feel I'm there anyway. Uh, yeah. I feel I've driven it around quite a lot, to be honest. Man. Boom. That is, it. That is an absolute rocket. Smashed. Down slope. Low draw under that tree. Man, I'm rubbing off on Yeah, him. man, we'll, we'll leave that. Could be the shot of my life right here. <laughs> Could be. You're over there laughing like, <laughs> not a chance in hell. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I'll tell you what though, in other news. Where are they? Sorry, man, I'm focusing on the planes now. Beautiful little fella up there. Only birdie we're going to see today, I think. And we've been joined here by Era, who's a professional here at the Grand. Yes, sir. Welcome. 
a proper player. <laughs> we uh, we have not been playing. Um, I, I won't say we've been playing our best golf so far in these few. Hey, that's no. all, that's all right. That's all right. No, We're no, still you, fun. You, you, you don't understand how bad it's been. It's, <laughs> it's not been all right. <laughs> well, well, anytime you get to spend uh, spend with Matt, and it's a great time. Dude. It's good to see you. Good to see you. What too. a surprise, right? I know. It's like Adidas hits me up, and here it is at the Grand Del Mar, your yeah. home track. Happy to have you here. You were the first person I called once I found out this was actually happening. <laughs> I know. I was, I was psyched to see that. <laughs> so Arrow and I, our lives kind of overlapped a little bit. When I started playing golf, we connected on Instagram, but I've known who this guy is for a long time. Coming from the snowboard lifestyle and mountain town, he's a humble dude, but this guy is <laughs> one hell of a snowboarder. He had a professional career in snowboarding long before your professional career in golf. Yes. And honestly, I've known who this guy is since I was like 18 years old. New head, new shaft? Uh, same head, same new, head, new, new shaft. shaft. I just built this this morning. That is a fancy it's, shaft. Wow, it's man. a fancy new small badge, hazardous right. Hulk. Hulk? Yeah. So we'll give it a go, first swing. And laughing and smiles, wow. There we go. That's a good drive with that. Oh, would you look nice. at that. Oh, now we're playing. Oh my god. That's in a green side bunker. Green side bunker's at 360. Oh. <laughs> Toad it. <laughs> oh. Full on Sergio Garcia dip it though. I didn't see it. Go on, keep going. It's almost. That is just about on, I think. Yeah. All right. Great Birdie. shot. Birdie. Great shot. And you were thinking of laying up. Oh my Man, goodness. no way. So Matt, before you started on this crazy adventure, what were we actually doing? What was the what was the job? So I started golf in your state about three years ago. Well, it's actually three years next week. Nice. <laughs> Happy birthday. Um, thank you. Thank you. Don't you. look a day over two. Before then, I was uh, I used to work in advertising. Okay. I worked for a media company. I was doing advertising sales and uh, ad campaign creation. So basically, I would develop cam long-term campaigns for clients. Yeah, yeah. It was really, it, it, it's sad, but it was really the death of a young friend of mine. He, um, huge fly fisherman, drowned in the river wow. while he was fishing with his brother. And you know, people say life is too short. It was one of those moments that he was 25 years old, died doing what he loved. And you know, it was one of those moments that it really hit me. And you know, as I kind of looked at my life and you know, I always chose, I never understood the people that worked their entire lives for retirement, right? You worked until you're 60 years old yeah, to retire yeah. and then enjoy life. For me, it was like, I chose to live in Jackson Hole so I could do the things I love to do every single day. And as I progressed in my professional career, I found myself working in a cubicle, which I told myself I would never do. I mean, I'm originally from New York. I grew up in Los Angeles. My father was a product of corporate America. And I decided right out of college, that wasn't for me. I wanted to kind of live the life that I did so that I could do what I loved and found myself being a ski bum. I mean, <laughs> I really worked seasonal jobs uh, eight months a year so that I could snowboard 100 days a year, fly fish and mountain bike and golf every day in the summer. And you know, when I started working in advertising, I kind of found myself working in a cubicle and it was not for me. Uh, I mean, I gave up a job. I was making over six figures a year to live in a pop-up tent on top of my car. <laughs> was that, was that a lot like scary to... Definitely. I mean, when I first started, you know, I knew that real quick that I had something here. Mm. And you know, the. The, the concept behind golf in your state was, you know, featuring golf destinations and really featuring kind of the local golf communities in all these places that I visit, kind of state to state in the United States. And, you know, I found out real quick that there was something behind what I thought. And, you know, here I am three years later, it was definitely terrifying to start. But as I look back at it now, there's no regrets. I had to at least give it a try. I'm not going to sit on my deathbed and be like, I wish I would have done this, mm. regardless of what that is in my life. And I, I have a lot of people ask me, you know, like, it takes a lot of balls to do what you did. And how can I pursue this? And, you know, my advice to all those people is go for it. You know, you don't want to, you don't ever want to look back at your life and wish that you had done something. I, I'm more of the type that would rather give it a try. If it fails, great. 
but at least I gave it my best effort. Today's a great example of it, Peter. You know, like we didn't know each other coming in today. No, I man. knew that you were going to be here, but I didn't know you personally. And here we are seven hours after meeting each other out on the golf course, having a great time, you know, I mean, it's this, like we've known each other for years, and right? This, this is a great average for me. Like normally after three hours, people have done <laughs> right, about enough. This is, this is a world record for me. Chance for an oh, eagle now. <laughs> That's not gonna do it, Matt. No. Oh, no. Alright, birdie's still good though, man. Hey, birdie. We'll That's good, birdie. right? Yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Matt. Oh. 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 Arrow said it was good. Good, Arrow. Might be awesome. Yeah, thank week. you. I'll thanks. catch up with you in the next few days, probably, anyway. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be here. Year round. Mate, that was a fun man. That was man, awesome. That has been a good day, actually, though. I had such a great day with you. Thank you. It was super fun. Thanks, Adidas. Thank you. That was that, so weak. Right, that, <laughs> that, if you want, <laughs> want an example of how golfers high five, that was it. I'll replay it. That was a fist to a palm. Yep. Every time. Every time. You know, it you really doesn't it. matter how you go about it. Always works out the same. Dude, it like, always consistent. works out the same. So yeah, Matt, I mean, what a cool guy and what a kind of crazy story really to, to leave a such a good job to pursue this kind of career which has absolutely no guarantees. It, it's something which I think is very inspirational. I think it's something which a lot of people could probably learn from as well. I think that's what so many people are trying to do is just turn a hobby and turn something that they love into, into a job. And like, if you can do that, if you can managed to push it forward in that way and not just in golf you know i'm not talking about golf specifically here just life in general to actually make a hobby your work <laughs> that's not work at all is it really um hello hey sean are you good man me upstairs by the bar 10 minutes, that sounds like a plan. <laughs> Alright, see you a bit late. Okay, jet lag really kicking in. So guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Make sure you head down, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out, helps me grow, helps me find new opportunities. Like the one that I'm on at the moment, which is amazing. Make sure you like the video as well, so hit that like button and comment below. Love to hear your thoughts. Okay, time to go.